trip update. <laughs> we're here at Chasahuitska. Chasahuitska management area. That's all we're gonna tell you. But um, there's a spring here that we like to dive. And it's back in the woods. <laughs> if we don't hit trees. What do you have to say about this dive location, Sabrina? It's sketchy but beautiful. Have you ever hit your head on a rock here? Oh yeah. Because yeah. so I did. He. I yeah, hit my head pretty so. good. Yeah. Um, I saved him from cracking his skull open a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, I hit my head once pretty good. It's easy to do, I think. Well, for me, I hit my head almost all the time. It ain't a trip without it. So anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. We're just talking about probably what kind of crowd is here because it's already after two o'clock when we got here, but I don't know that that much matters. I think we got here at eight o'clock, there'll probably still be people. It's a hit or miss kind of thing. So we're gonna check it out. We'll give you an update in just a minute. Okay, so a bear-proof bin has been put put in since I've been here. A bear-proof garbage can. Somebody's water bottle that they'll probably come back and go, oh, I forgot that was here. Is it still there when we come back? Yeah. Lord knows I don't have enough water bottles. I, I'll always take an insulated bottle. Oh yeah, absolutely. You heard it first, people. She will steal your stuff if you leave it laying around, so keep an eye out. More within a couple hours. <laughs> I'm glad I turned around to look. I know the way, if you want to keep going. I could have just put stuff in the bin. That, that would have been like more easier. All right, we're going down the path of the secret dive location that nobody knows. Unless you've already been there, but even still, we're going to pretend like We've never been there. So when we come up on it, it'll be like, it'll be oh. profound. So we're on the boardwalk heading to the spring and we have our gear with us. We're basically just gonna change clothes and it's not a far swim at all. It's only right off the edge of the dock that we're gonna swim. So we have some preparations to make and we'll be in the water in no time. Chris is the first in. If it's warm in that spot, we'll know who did it. <laughs> I can feel the warmth from up here. That's because he peed right there in that wet spot. Right there in that wet spot. <laughs> what do you need? Your stuff? Water's a little low.
really doesn't care that we're here. He's just getting his food. Look at him go. See ya. Nature's little free diver. <laughs> he just goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So that concludes our dive for now it was good to get back in the water and shake off the rust so to speak get down to depth and equalize and I gotta work on my technique a little bit and work on my thinning and my head position and things like that but after taking a break it was good to get back in the water and we're gonna start doing some more free diving coming up in the next month or so Maybe Chris and Sabrina will come too. They're a lot of fun. So anyways, we're going to make our way down this path back to the car and load it up. <laughs>